Antonelli. Does anybody know who Antonelli is? Okay. He was recognized by Israel as one of the righteous among the nations in 2011. The award recognizes non-Jews who helped resist the Nazi extermination campaign. All right. With his mother, he rescued a Jewish boy and hid him from the Nazis for two years. In hiding this child, the family took a double risk because they were already under scrutiny for having opposed the German occupation. His father was sent to Dachau and died in the camps. His brother-in-law was executed for his involvement in the Dutch resistance. And one of his brothers had a Jewish fiance who was also killed by the Nazis. Today, he said, against this background, it is particularly shocking and tragic that four generations on, our family is faced with the murder of our kid in Gaza, a murder carried out by the state of Israel. The great, great grandchildren of my mother have lost their Palestinian grandmother, and three uncles, and aunt their cousin at the hands of the Israeli army. For me to hold on to the honor granted by the state of Israel under these circumstances will be both an insult to the memory of my courageous mother who risked her life and that of her children fighting against oppression and for the preservation of human life, as well as an insult to those in my family four generations on who lost no less than six of their relatives at the hands of the state of Israel. His protest is, is significant. It's also symbolic, a little like this one, but there are more concrete actions that we can take to oppose this occupation and our government support of it. That includes boycott, divestment, and sanctions, or BDS. If you take out your smartphones, all right, you can find apps that will tell you what products are sold by corporations supporting the Israeli occupation of both Gaza and the West Bank. Does it only as an attorney like me, like some of the others here, and what he's calling for is true and unpoliticized justice for his family members. And we have to do the same. We can do our part by forcing an end to our government support of this illegal campaign and occupation. All right. Not because we hate Jews. We do not hate Jews. Not because we hate Israel, but because we love humanity. Right. We support human rights. Right. For Americans, this is not about nationalism. This is not about religion. This is not about the intricacies of foreign policy. This is about upholding the principle that all people are equal under the law. This principle must be defended under the law of nations as it is defended at home, and those who support ethnic chauvinism and racism abroad have no standing to combat it at home. Right, your congressman.